Loki, the brother of Thor, was an Asgardian prince raised by King Odin and his wife Frigga. Living up to his moniker, God of Mischief, Loki sabotaged his brother's coronation by letting frost giants enter Asgard. This led Thor to seek vengeance on the frost giant's homeworld, causing Odin to banish Thor to Earth for his actions. Loki then found out the truth about his heritage. He was the biological son of Lofi, the ruler of the frost giants. Loki had been abandoned and left to die as a small child before being found and adopted by Odin. When Odin fell into the Odin sleep, Loki found himself on the throne, where he tried to stop the Warriors Three and Lady Sif from attempting to help Thor return home. Eventually Thor managed to return from his exile, whereupon he ended Loki's short reign. Lost in the darkest depths of the universe, Loki made a pact with the other, a servant of the mad titan Thanos, who gave him a powerful scepter and command over the Chitauri army, so he could conquer and rule Midgard, aka Earth. In return, Loki was to capture and return to Thanos a powerful relic known as the Tesseract. Managing to take possession of the Tesseract, Loki used it to open a portal above New York City so that the Jitori could begin their invasion. But his plans were ultimately defeated by the superhero group, the Avengers. Thor took Loki back to Asgard, where Odin condemned him to spend the rest of his life in prison as punishment for his crimes. However, after Frigga was murdered during the sacking of Asgard, a full-scale assault against Asgard by the Dark Elves, Thor freed Loki so he could help him avenge their mother's death and defeat the Dark Elves' plan to transform the universe into eternal darkness using the power of the Aether. During the fight against the Dark Elves in Svartalfheim, Loki faked his death and, unbeknownst to everyone in the kingdom, returned to Asgard and successfully cast a spell on his father before exiling him to Earth. Disguising himself as Odin, Loki was able to take the throne and rule as king for several years. The eventual return of Thor forced Loki to reveal his deception. The pair then journeyed together to find Odin on Earth, where they witnessed Odin's death. Unfortunately, the passing of Odin freed Odin's firstborn, Hela, to return from banishment and renew her war campaign against the Nine Realms. Loki and Thor would eventually find themselves at Sakaar. Whereas Thor was captured and forced to battle against the Hulk, Loki managed to ally himself with the Grand Master. Escaping Sakaar, Loki chose to side with Thor and the Revengers in a final battle against Hela, in which Loki summoned Surtur, who defeated Hela by causing Ragnarok to bring about the destruction of Asgard. During this moment, Loki managed to secretly retake the Tesseract from Odin's vault, before escaping with Thor and the Hulk on an Asgardian ship. Unfortunately for Loki, his former deal with Thanos would come back to haunt him. In Thanos' continuing quest to capture the Infinity Stones, the Mad Titan's ship, the Sanctuary II, intercepted the Asgardians as they made their way to Earth. With Thanos having captured the ship and killed many of the Asgardians aboard, Loki tried to stab Thanos in an attempt to stop him from taking the Tesseract and to save his brother. Unfortunately, Thanos was able to stop him by using the Power Stone and subsequently murdered the God of Mischief. Thank you for watching. Click the Final Frontier icon to subscribe and find out more about the life stories of the biggest heroes and villains in science fiction, as well as updates on the movies and shows you simply must not miss. Please share and like as we boldly explore the strange new worlds of science fiction.